All right, what we're going to do is we're going to change out the uh, CPU fan on an HP. Uh, this is a uh, uh, HP, where's the model number? Uh, DC5750M. So I'm going to show you again how to take the uh, cover off. We're going to remove some parts out of here. I'm going to show you how to change out some things. So uh, grab, the, grab the screw here if you need a flathead or a star uh, tool to loosen it, but um, I already had this off a number of times. You need to grab with your nails in there and pull back. If that doesn't work, then lay it on the side and pound on it to, in the backward motion and take the cover off. Because I see the two clips right here. So let me make sure I have everything in this video. There we go. We have to disconnect the, uh, uh, the hard drive connectors. So uh, unweed them and unthread them and take those and set them aside. There's a lot of uh, cables in here, and I need to get this uh, up here to, to see this. But what we're going to do is grab these and lift up, lift it back. Let's see, it's back and up. You have to clear. You have to clear this and lift this up out of the way. It makes real easy uh, cleaning for down here. Your fan is down on the the big black thing over the CPU. So let me get this up higher so you can see that. Okay, this is the big contraption we have to get out of here. Now, luckily, it's not part of what's coming off of the CPU because the heater coil is, uh, the heat sink is right down there. We have a lot of things to disconnect. You need to pay attention to where they go. So if you need to, take your cell phone, take a camera, take something, and take pictures of where everything goes. So I'm going to take the, the cable to the bottom CD drive, or the floppy drive, actually off of the motherboard. Luckily there's only one of these on the motherboard. We'll just take that and move it back over there all right? because it was crossing this and you need to make sure that it sits back over. We want to make sure all these uh, all these connectors go right back in the same sequence. So I'm going to move this over. This is your uh, SATA cable for the hard drive and the CD-ROM drive. Take that out of the way. Both of these both these connectors go that way. All these clips come out that way. So we have um, your upfront display needs to be disconnected from the motherboard because there's just not enough room. So we're going to take that off the motherboard. All right, and there's only one place to put that too. It's right next to where this guy went in, uh, the floppy drive connector. Just to the top of that is a white connector that has this blue, yellow, black, green wire going down. There is a channel that's on the far side on that that's going to slide down. We're going to pull this out. There's no clip to hold, but there's that channel right there that's going to slide down. Only one place to put that, and it's the same color. All right, we're not pulling this out. This is part of the fan. It's the, so we got we have this out. We're going to see if we can do all this without actually disconnecting, but I don't think that's going to happen. I want to make sure we have everything that I'm doing somewhat in here. Yeah, we, we're good. We're good on that. I was looking in the camera. This cable right here, these two that run down, go to a yellow connector on the motherboard. We're going to pull that up. There's nothing to hold. You just wiggle back and forth and pull it up. Yellow goes to yellow. And it's not the SATA yellow that's down there. Uh, these guys look like they'll be out of the way. So let's take this one out first. This is the one tangled up with the uh, red and black. So it's going to go in after the SATA. We're going to take these two that I disconnected from the motherboard. Is going to come out. This is the upfront panel that's going to come out. We're going to take all those out. So what we need to do is take a uh, um, star type uh, tip. They also take flatheads, so if you don't have one of these, this is a size uh, T15 uh, is the type of tip I'm using. Uh, make sure that we are on the unscrew area. So there's four screws to take out that are on the corners down there. I don't think they're going to come all the way out, and they actually screw into the motherboard. Um, so, but this is a, a, you have an HP part number right on top here. So you can go to HP's website and just order it if they have it. If it's not in stock anymore, it's obsolete. And, it's, and it did, it pulled. Alrighty. We have pieces coming apart here, uh, totally unexpected. Alright, um, this came out from here, these two. It did pull the whole drive out, the whole heat sink came right off of that C CPU. Alright, 
Don't mess with this stuff. I like put it on. Uh, this is uh, this is the stuff for the heat, uh, the coolant transfer. It transfers heat a lot faster and a lot better, more efficient than that, so you don't have a CPU burnout. But don't clean this off. Don't clean that off. All right. Uh, put it right back on the same way. I prefer cleaning it off and put new on there, but uh, this stuff's hard to come by. All right. So you need to get this out of here. And if you pull this aside, see, there's only one way you couldn't do this. Um, without taking this thing off. So you need to get this thing out of here and pull, pull it aside to get this out. So it's, a, it's actually, a, a, I call it liquid cooled. It's got the plumbing that goes all the way around. There's a little bit of dust I didn't get before. And I did scrape myself, so be careful. A uh, little sting, but you know, no big thing. You don't want any of these on the sides to be flat. This is flattened from the top of, of this going down. So this is your fan, fan assembly. Now, typically, you know, if you could find a fan like this, uh, you could take the four screws out, little screwdriver that goes through Phillips head, and take these out. But this is the full assembly that would come from HP. All right, so now we're going to put this back in. Um, I didn't expect those screws to come out, though. <laughs> so we're going to uh, try and remember which side this came off because of of where that big bulky pot uh, uh compound is and that looks like it goes on like this because the large area is missing down there so go ahead and pop this back in when you have that figured out you know this looks like uh, the bottom of this thing broke is why it came out so this has been a part before I didn't break that I just unscrewed it so that yeah these two posts are broke so hopefully yours is not like that and uh, the new one you get is not going to be like that, which means I'm not going to be able to sell this on eBay. Unless I find a way to fix those. But that's uh, that's not cool. That means I can't make a little bit of money off of this. Oh well, uh, things happen. So I need to figure out how to uh, get this to stay in. I might have to glue these back on before I... So if this happens to you, you have to glue these back on before you put this... I fixed it, but uh, there are definitely missing pieces and parts. This has happened well before I touched it. So um, I use good old uh, little dabs of super glue. Make sure you don't get it, the super glue on the th uh, threads if this happens to you. All right, we're going to set this bag down in here, providing those posts don't come off while I'm moving, maneuvering this through. Uh, need to get the cables up and out of the way. You don't want to go on top of any cables. All right, you're going to set this down on top of the CPU, and all your post should sit right in the holes and they are they're in the holes I want to take the screws and tighten them down yeah I just heard a crack again as I'm doing this I just heard heard those that one come let's see if, see if this works yep you know what happened is they tightened too much. That's what happened. When somebody put it back in, they crimped it down too much and you end up cracking the, the, the stanchions. So be careful you don't do that. That's exactly what happened. They weren't completely um, um, uh, hardened from the glue I put on there and it just split apart. So, okay. So if you, have, you most likely have a good one, when you put it back on, don't, you know, put too much muscle on that, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put these guys back in first. We're going to take the fan, the CPU fan, put it right back on the post. Um, never force something down, okay? Work it, work it back and forth. Uh, this is the first one that went through this one. All right, so thread it through here, then put it down. All right, there, there's a, a, dead, a dead key here uh, that has no hole. And line it up with the one down there. All right, you're going to go on one side first. Then on the other side, make sure you're on and wiggle it back and forth and down. All right, and if you do it the wrong way, you're going to bend pins. You don't want to bend, bend pins. The next one was this yellow cable. We're going to bring this through this top one first up here and then through this one. Lift this up without breaking it. Slide it all the way over. We're going to find its spot. Once again, it has a dead key on the corner. All right, so line it up the same way and push down all the way down. There's no clicks or anything. 
Uh, the SATA cables were the last thing. So now you have your black wire that's twisted around the red and black wire. Bring that in. We didn't have to do anything here. It's still hooked up up there. Uh, we're going to bring our SATA cables in. All right. They go in down here. All right. I'm going to bring uh, this one underneath this one too. This is going to go underneath the, uh, over the, uh, actually we're going to leave this over for now because it's going to go over the plastic thing we need to put back on. Let's take our, uh, I'm going to thread this underneath, I think. We're going to take our um, cable for our floppy drive, run it underneath the uh, SATA cables, bring it across, and there's a cable down here. Uh, and uh, once again, just get it inside the case and push down one on each side. Then we're going to take our uh, clear case, and you got to remember how it went on, okay? Don't, uh, don't try putting it on like this, it goes on like this. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to slide this right down. There's no rails or anything for it to follow. Uh, we need to tilt it to get these underneath here. So we're going to tilt it back, push the back that way underneath, bring, this under, bring these underneath, and they need to come out and then you'll hear it kind of snap into place and they're right here. All right, so take your SATA cables. Um, the hard drive cable comes around here. It goes back into the hard drive. All right, we have a power cable too. Let's hope we didn't lose that power cable. We brought, actually draped it way over here. So we're gonna take this and thread it through here through here and then push it onto the hard drive. We need to pull it back a little bit to get it on there. So, and that, it's not because I'm a computer technician that I could do this. Anybody can do this. Just have a little bit of confidence. You might have to go a little slower. Watch the video a few more times. Okay, but you got to make sure all your connection, connections are, are hooked up. Before you put the side panel back on, you got to make sure that all your connections in there and you didn't leave anything else in there. Now this is a non-working computer, so I'm not going to boot it up to show you how it works. It's just simply how to change that, that um, unit out down there. All right, take your cover, put it back on. All right, with this guy, you have a big fat piece that needs to go over this big fat piece, so it has to be on the front of it. All right, uh, set it down into the channels, and it is kind of difficult to do, okay? So, so uh, they can't make these things kind of easy, all right? And then uh, push it forward, and then tighten your nut down, and you're all set, all right? So hopefully you enjoyed the uh, video. Oh, subscribe if you wish.